So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you guys can adjust the speed of your video clip in Shotcut. Now this can be used for to speed up a video clip or even slow it down. But with that said, let's get started with the video. So we're in Shotcut right now and I have my video clip ready so I can show you how you guys can do this. So first of all, I want to show you how the original speed of the clip is. So I'm just going to put play here. As you can see, it's just the normal speed for now, but we're going to change that pretty soon. So the first thing you want to do is basically have your clip selected and then you just want to right click to the properties or from here you can go to the properties tab in this little main section where our playlist is at. And from there it will just take you to a new window in the properties tab and as you can see there's many settings in this window but the one that we want to be focusing on is on this speed setting. So as you can see the setting that's already here it's default basically it's the baseline speed of a normal video clip. Now in order to speed up a video clip we can increase the baseline to 10 making it 10 times faster than the original clip so i'm just going to put 10 and hit enter and as you can see this setting worked because our video file got really small since it's 10 times faster than the original clip and we can literally just hit play and you can see the difference between the speed of this sped up clip compared to our normal clip now from here, in order to slow down our video clip, we can just erase the 10 and you want to set the value less than one. So I'm just going to put it at 0.5. So it will be half of the speed of the original clip itself. And then we just hit enter. And as you can see, the clip itself has gotten even longer since it's a bit much more slower than our original clip. So I'm just going to zoom out so we can get a pretty good size of the clip itself. And we can just hit play. And as you can see, the speed is much more slower than the original clip. So when would you actually use this effect that you guys can implement onto your video? Now this is a very good tool to use if you guys want to implement slow motion effects on your video or even speed ramps which basically fast forwards your video by using this tool and adjusting the speed of it. So I want to show you an example of how you would actually use this but for now I'm just going to delete this clip we've been messing with and I'm just going to drag the original clip onto it. Now there are many types of variations that you guys can actually use and implement this tool but I just want to give you an idea of how it would look if we would have combined basically two different types of speed in one video clip. So as you can see we have the standard video clip here and I'm just going to move the cursor to a certain segment of the video and just use the split tool that we can see up here and it's going to split the video. From here I'm just going to select on the part of the video I want to adjust and I'm just going to go to the properties tab again and just speed it up by 10. And like we did before I'm just going to hit enter and as you can see see the video file has gotten smaller because of that fast speed ramp that we have adjusted onto our video. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and I'm just going to move the cursor so you guys can see the transition to a normal speed video to a basically speed ramp effect. So as you can see the clip first starts out at a normal speed and then it basically fast forwards to the next clip when we adjusted that speed to be faster. Now that's basically the process in which you guys can use in order to adjust the speed of your videos in Shotcut. Now if you guys are looking for more tutorials on Shotcut, I suggest that you guys go over to my Shotcut video tutorial playlist where I have different tutorials for different effects when using Shotcut. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.